Hey guys, it's Joseph here, and as all of you know, LEGO has been making, you know, LEGO Star Wars sets for the past 20 years or so, and they've made tons of sets based on tons of different uh, movies, TV shows, and just vehicles, and characters, and uh, events, and obviously there's been a ton of LEGO sets, right? So, in this video, I just wanted to go over some LEGO Star Wars sets that I just think should be remade as they're outdated, or uh, they just look kind of funky compared to what they could look like now, and just ultimately these are sets that I think really need an update. So, uh, let's get into it. So starting out here, we have the Hyena Droid Bomber. Um, this is an old set that I believe was released in either 2008 or 2009. And obviously it's based off of the uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show. And uh, with this set, I mean, I feel like you can just look at it and it already looks just kind of weird. Like it's so clunky and kind of just unusual looking that it just, it just does not look good at all. And I feel like they could really, if they updated it and remade it today, um, I think they can make it so much better. Um, it just looks so weird and just unorthodox, and, you know, I just think LEGO really dropped the ball with that one, and uh, I think that they could make something 10 times better, you know, 100 times better even. Um, it did come with three, like, these little, like, mini rocket droids, which is nice, but ultimately, you know, they could remake the vehicle and then add some more droids or just re-release the same minifigures. I mean, they could just do a lot better with this set, I feel like. Um, you know, it just does not look good at all, and it's one that I think really could be fixed, and they could really do it justice by making a new one. Next up, we have the uh, classic original trilogy TIE Interceptor. Um, this set, I think, was released like almost like 15 years ago, maybe even older than that. Um, it has like blue streaks and stuff, and it when it has blue streaks, you know, like one of these TIE fighters, that's when you know it's old. That's how they originally made uh, the original trilogy ships and vehicles of the Empire. And I think it looks fine like that. I think it looks, you know, pretty good to this day, honestly. But ultimately, they just need to make a remake, you know. They need to make one with gray plating. And uh, one that's just up to date, because um, it's been a long time. And, uh, you know, they have made some, like, variants, I guess, before, like Major Von Reg's TIE Fighter here, which is kind of a red TIE Interceptor, and that's a really nice set. Um, but they need to make an original trilogy one. You also have here another set from Star Wars Resistance that is called the Black Ace TIE Interceptor. Not that's not a real TIE Interceptor, but that's just what it's called. But, you know, they need to make an original trilogy one, and uh, it could just, it could use an upgrade. So next up here, we have another uh, original trilogy vehicle, the TIE Bomber. Um, I think that this actually looks fine, um, just like the TIE Interceptor, but again, it's been like 15 years since this one is also last made, and it has the blue streaks and all. And I kind of like the blue streaks, if I'm being honest, but ultimately, uh, it just needs an upgraded version with the gray plating that normally all Imperial vehicles would have, and uh, it's just worthy of a remake, especially for being such an iconic and important vehicle. So next up here, we have a set that's one of my personal favorites that I think should be remade. It's the ARC-170 Starfighter, and the last one that was released, I believe, was released in 2010. And uh, that model still looks pretty good, actually. It comes with a lot of unique minifigures like Kit Fisto, R4P44, and a couple of different pilots. Um, and, you know, it just looks it looks fine. Uh, but I think, you know, it's been 10 years from uh, since they last released it, and uh, they did release a microfighter, but... You know, that thing's not really, it's just a microfighter, you know. So I think if they released a uh, big model again, I think it'd look really well. And it's been 10 years, so I think it's about time. And, uh, you know, I just think it's one that really deserves a remake. So next up, we have a set here that I think a lot of people would love to see remade. And it's the Republic Dropship with ATOT. Now, maybe they could just make the Republic Dropship by itself, and maybe just an ATOT by itself. But ultimately, I think if you do make a dropship, it should include a walker in the set. Or maybe a walker should be released um, with it, like around the same time, like an ATTE. Uh, but ultimately, I think the Republic Dropship actually looks really good to this day. Like, it's, I think it looks great. I think it looked like it could be, could have been released, like, last year. Um, the ATOT looks all right, you know. Uh, but it's a really nice set. It's a really expensive set. And I think it's something that would have been, that would be really cool to make. But I do think it's a little unrealistic. I don't know. I just don't think, I think that that type of set with the Dropship and ATOT is kind of a one-time set. But I think it is something that would have been, or would be really cool to see remade. And I think it's, you know, worthy of it. I think it would sell well and do well. And I think it's something a lot of people would like to see. And here we have another Clone Wars set. We have the Clone Wars Y-Wing. Um, this is the only one they've ever made. Um, now, they did release recently a Resistance Y-Wing. And they released Y-Wings frequently, right? But those are all usually the Rebellion or Resistance style. And I think that the Clone Wars one actually looks pretty good. I think the original model, um, whether you like it or not, I think it looks pretty accurate to the show and looks good to this day. But I think they could make a new one, obviously, and improve it and maybe include some more exclusive minifigures, like maybe Matchstick or Broadside or some other clone pilots or something like that, or just clone pilots in general. Um, I think it'd be a great set to be remade. It's been, I think, around 12 years since we last got one. And uh, they could even do something where it's like, you know, obviously the Clone Wars Season 7 just ended, and uh, in that finale, they had the blue Y-Wing. That's something they could make. Um, there's also like a red Y-Wing, I think, that's been in the show. And ultimately, they can just make a new one, and uh, I think it would do well, and it's something that we haven't seen for a while. 
So moving on, we have another Clone Wars set, um, which is the V19 Tort. Now, like the Y-Wing and like some other sets on this list, um, this set, I think, still holds up to this day. Um, even though it was released around 12 years ago, I think the Torrent looks great. Um, I just think they could make a new one and just make it better, you know? Uh, maybe they could include another exclusive pilot, like maybe Axe, or just, just some random pilots, you know? Um, they could update it, and, um, you know, I think it, they'd do a really good job. So another set I think should be remade is the um, Ahsoka's Jedi Starfighter. Now, the original set comes with a, a Vulture Droid and a couple of Buzz Droids, but I think if they even just made um, her Jedi Starfighter by itself, I think it'd be a really good set to remake. Um, the old version, I think, looks great. Um, I think it looks fine. But uh, when the Clone Wars TV show was going on, uh, Lego made tons of different like Jedi Starfighters, and Ahsoka's is one of them. And uh, I think it's just one that deserves to be remade. Uh, it's been 10, 12, 10 to 12 years, I think, since this thing was released. And uh, I think it's something that really could use an upgrade. Um, they could even do a set where it's her Jedi Interceptor or the like new Jedi Starfighter instead. Because that's never been made, actually. But I think that ultimately remaking her Starfighter is something that I think they could really do well on. And uh, it would be a nice set to have. So moving on, another set I think LEGO should remake is the uh, Swamp Speeder um, as an individual set. Uh, this came out um, also over 10 years ago. And I think it looks fine. You know, it comes with some nice minifigures. But I think they could redo it, make it a lot better. Um, the Swamp Speeder has come in some sets before. Like, uh, I think it came... In the 2007, like, Wookiee Catamaran, and here it came in the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack as kind of a mini build. But ultimately, I think they can make it better and uh, redo it, and it's been over a decade, so why not? Next up, we have the uh, Jango Fett Slave 1. Um, this set is a set that is way overdue for a remake. They've only made one, and it came out a long time ago. I mean, you can look at Jango Fett and Boba Fett, and uh, they're both very old versions of themselves. Boba Fett has yellow skin. That's all this set is. And uh, I think the set, you know, it looks fine, but really they could make it so much better. I mean... And you look at all the Boba Fett Slave ones they've made and uh, how great they look. I mean, if they just made a Jango Fett one, just like one more time, I think it'd be really nice. And uh, this is a set that just really deserves a remake. And it's really underrated. And I think it's a would be, again, another nice set to have uh, remade. So next up here, we have another old set. Now, uh, this one isn't obviously is not as old as the uh, Jango Fett Slave one, but it's still an old set. I think it's still a set that also deserves a remake. And uh, it's not necessarily like the Battle of Endor that I think deserves a remake, but it's more or less the Endor Bunker. Um, I think this is a set that deserves a remake. It's been a long time since they released this one, over 10 years. And, uh, you know, they haven't released one since, and I think they could really improve on it. Continuing on with some original trilogy sets here, we have the Hoth Wampa Cave. This is the uh, only Hoth Wampa Cave they've ever made. And uh, it, I just, I don't know, it just does not look that great, being honest. And I actually originally owned this set. Um, it's a great set, don't get me wrong. Come to the Snow Speeder, you get the Wampa. But the cave just looks kind of small and like weak, and I think they could really make it look much more scary and menacing, and just they could really improve the set as a whole. Another set LEGO could remake would be the Wookiee Catamaran that came out, I think, around 2005, um, 2006, 2007. Uh, it came with a couple of Jedi and Luminar and Dooley, Yoda, a couple of Wookiees, Chewbacca and the Wookiee Warrior, and then a Swamp Speeder. Um, and it's a really nice looking set. I think it still holds up to this day as well, just like some other sets on this list. But, you know, it's been almost 15 years now, and ultimately it's such a unique and interesting set that I think they could remake one, and they could just improve on it um, and make it a lot better. Next up, we have the Republic Frigate, which is a set that I think LEGO's only released twice ever. Um, you had the original version of Episode 1, and then this version from the Clone Wars that I think came out in like 2011, 2012. Um, so it's almost been a decade, and uh, it's a really good set. I think this also looks pretty good. It came with a lot of unique minifigures like Ethkoth. Quinlan Voss, uh, Commander Wolf, and a Wolf Pack Trooper along with Yoda. So I think they could update this, update the set, you know, make it look a lot better, um, update the minifigures, um, maybe add like Phase 2 Commander Wolf or something like that, and ultimately I think they could just improve on it as a whole. And uh, this is a set that I personally would uh, like to see remade. And continuing with some more sets, we have another Clone Wars set. We have the Republic Attack Shuttle, which has only been released once, uh, I believe in 2008 or 2009. And again, just like many other sets, it's been over a decade. The old model looks fine. I think this model looks pretty good. Um, came with some minifigures like uh, Mace Windu and a couple of clones. Um, but again, it's been a decade. They should just remake it. Why not? Um, especially with the Clone Wars being so popular right now. You know, why not? Next up here, we have the Vendor Class Republic Attack Cruiser. Um, this is kind of like the poster child, I feel like, for sets that need to be remade. There's plenty of demand for this set. People want it. And uh, the last one came out 10 years ago. And it's the only one. Um, I think this is a great set, and I think it really should re be remade. The old version looks all right. Um, you know, I love the colors on it, and I think the vendors in general just are, you know, look really good. But 
it, it, the proportions are a little weird, you know, it looks kind of chubby and clunky, um, you know, it is a playset, so I guess it's how it's supposed to be at times, um, but it does look a little weird, and I think that they could make a new version, you know, another playset or a uh, UCS version, I think it would be really successful. And finally, the last set that I believe should be remade um, is the Emperor Palpatine Shuttle. Um, just like the other sets on this list, it's been, I think, about a decade since the set was released. The old model, I think, looks all right, but I really think this is, again, another set that they could really improve on and make look a lot better. And, uh, you know, it's a set that I don't think it's necessarily, there's not, like, a ton of demand for it, like the Venator, maybe, but I think it's a set that, you know, should get its remake soon, and uh, it'd just be a nice set to have. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, those are all the sets that I think LEGO should remake. Um, these are sets that are typically a decade or older um, since the last time they were released, and ultimately, you know... Some of the old models, they look all right, but most of them, you know, they I think LEGO could really um, do them justice and improve them. And uh, these are just sets that I personally would like to see uh, remade. So uh, that's it, and uh, thanks. Bye.